Hello students, myself Dr. Sachin Kapoor and I wish you a very warm welcome to this session of Zoology Lectures. The topic of our discussion today is Skeletal Connective Tissue. Skeletal Connective Tissue includes bone and cartilage. We'll be discussing about bone in this lecture. Now as you can see in this diagram, this is the generalized structure of a long bone of mammals. A typical mammalian bone. This region as you can see here is the shaft. It's also called diaphysis. It is the compact bone or the dense bone. The terminal regions are termed as epiphysis. It is the soft bone or the cancellous bone. The ends are covered by articular cartilage. It's a type of haline cartilage. This outermost layer is what is periosteum. It's made up of collagen fibers, which are also called Sharpe's fibers, and osteoblasts, which are the bone-forming cells. Now, bone is the hardest tissue in the body, as I've written here. Bone consists of organic components as well as inorganic components. As far as the organic components are concerned, the major protein in the bone is osin. The inorganic components include calcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, magnesium phosphate, sodium chloride. The maximum is calcium phosphate. When a bone is burnt, the organic components are destroyed. And when a bone is kept in dilute hydrochloric acid solution, that is dilute HCl, its inorganic components dissolve and it is called decalcified bone. In this diagram, you can see the transverse section of a decalcified mammalian bone. So, this diagram is the TS of a decalcified bone. Let's see what all we can see in the histology of a bone. This outermost layer is what is the periosteum. This periosteum has collagen fibers, as you can see here, and osteoblasts. So, let's label this layer that is periosteum the outermost layer of the bone and it further has what it has collagen fibers which are also called sharpe's fibers and it has layer of osteoblasts which are the bone forming cells so periosteum has two layers outer layer of collagen fibers inner layer of osteoblasts this region is called the matrix of the bone. This matrix has osteocytes arranged in the form of layers which are called lamellae. There are different types of lamellae. One of those I have shown here, These are this is the Haversian system or the osteon. It has Haversian lamellae and Haversian canal. This is endosteum. The outermost was periosteum. This is endosteum. With red color, we have shown here bone marrow. You know, bone marrow is present in the medullary cavity of the bones. And bone marrow is hemopoietic tissue. Hemopoietic means blood-forming tissue. RBCs, WBCs and platelets are formed in the bone marrow. Right? Now, now we come to the matrix. As I said, the matrix of the bone is arranged in the form of layers and the layers are called lamellae. There are different types of lamellae. One such lamellae are Haversian lamellae. Then we have periosteal lamellae towards the periosteum. They are also called outer circumferential lamellae. Near the endosteum, we have endosteal lamellae or the inner circumferential lamellae. In addition to these, there are interstitial lamellae. So, this diagram that is transverse section of the bone shows you periosteum, endosteum, the matrix of the bone which is arranged in the form of layers. This is Haversian system or it's also called osteon. We will draw an enlarged view of this Haversian system. 
This is endosteum. This is bone marrow. This circular structure which you can see here is the Haversian canal. Haversian canals are the typical feature of mammalian bones. Haversian canal has blood vessels, it has lymph vessels, it has nerves. Now I'll show you enlarged view of a small portion of this diagram so that we can see where are the osteocytes present. Osteocytes are the bone maintaining cells. Osteoblasts as I said they are the bone forming cells. In addition to osteoblast and osteocytes there are osteoclasts also. Osteoclasts, these are the bone destroying cells. Now, let's see a diagram which shows you the enlarged view of certain selected area of this transverse section. This layer which I am drawing is the osteoblasts. This is collagen fibers. Right? You can imagine that we are going to draw enlarged view of this much area of this transverse section. So you can see the collagen fibers, there are osteoblasts. Then this is end osteum, which also has osteoblasts. This end osteum is covering bone marrow, which is the hemopoietic tissue or the blood forming tissue. This is Haversian canal. This Haversian canal is surrounded by Haversian lamellae. Lamellae are what? Lamellae consists of osteocytes. These cells which you can see here, the star-shaped cells, these are osteocytes. They are arranged in this circular pattern and form Haversian system. So these cells which you can see are osteocytes, the bone maintaining cells. Let's see enlarged view of a single osteocyte. How does an osteocyte look like? These are the protoplasmic processes of the osteocyte. These protoplasmic processes are called phylopodia. So phylopodia are what? The protoplasmic processes of the osteocyte. This diagram is enlarged view of osteocyte. An osteocyte is surrounded by a fluid filled space which is called lacuna. So this is the fluid filled space which surrounds an osteocyte and this fluid filled space is what is called lacuna. This lacuna has channels which are called canaliculi. So osteocyte has protoplasmic processes called phylopodia and osteocyte is surrounded by a fluid filled space called lacuna. Lacuna has channels called canaliculi. So we can say canaliculi are present which are surrounding this uh, osteocyte protoplasmic processes. Now, let's name this structure which we have drawn here. This is the Haversian system or which is also called osteon. This is Haversian canal. These cells are osteocytes. In addition to osteoblasts, osteocytes, I told you that there are osteo Clasts also. Osteoclasts are the bone destroying cells or bone remodeling cells. These play important role in repairing or restructuring of the fractured bone. These cells they develop from osteoprogenitor cells. So a bone has osteoprogenitor cells. It has osteoblasts, it has osteocytes and osteoclasts. So students, that was about the structure of a typical mammalian bone. Let's have a quick recap what we have discussed. We have seen the structure, the generalized structure of a long bone. It has shaft which is called diaphysis. This region is the compact or the dense bone region. And this haversian system is present in the compact bone region. 
The terminal ends are called epiphysis. It's the soft or the cancellous bone, which is covered by articular cartilage, which is a type of aligned cartilage. Bone has organic components as well as inorganic components. Organic components, the most important protein is osin. Inorganic components include calcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, etc. Most abundant is calcium phosphate. This diagram shows you the transverse section of a bone which has periosteum, it has endosteum, it has matrix, it has this Haversian lamellae also. In this diagram, we have discussed about Haversian lamellae also. So that was all about the structure of the typical mammalian bone and the transverse section of bone.